I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes from last <coughs> meeting. I move to approve the minutes. The last meeting is written. Second. I'll second. Been moved and seconded to uh, approve the uh, minutes from last meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Minutes approved. Bills to be paid. Brandon, did you go through them? Is there any changes? Uh, no, if you want to change the weather, I think everybody got it. it the only motion. Thank you, Warren, very much. Appreciate it. What are you looking for, John? Right here. Oh, okay. I must have picked them up before the minutes were in there. What's that? You look for the minutes or the bills, John? The minutes, I got the bills. Just that one change, Francis? Yeah. And it's been changed already, so, right? Yeah, everybody should have that change. Okay. <laughs> Entertain a motion. Uh, I, got, I got a question about the tip because it's stated in, in our ordinance, city ordinance, that money is supposed to be spent toward uh, loans and, and bonds and not just for anything. It's stated on there that the money is a fantasy. To be paid to a special fund for payment of principal and interest on loans, monies advanced to and indebtedness, including bonds issued or to be issued, incurred by said city in connection with the 2004 addition to the Ball Lake Urban Renewal Area Commercial Industrial Urban Renewal Development Project. And I, and I think that we we should be assured this money is going there. I believe that's what they're going to do with it. Is they're going to create a well I mean, before we give it to them, I think it should be agreed that that's where it goes to. Well, I don't know what to do with you, Ray, but let me that's explain that's this to you. Ordinance. In December, we certified the debt. We certified the debt to the Wall Lake Industrial, Commercial Industrial Corporation. That's the certified debt. That's all you can spend it on. Then you're proposing to give it back to the school district and the county. I'm, okay, I'm saying that it's the ordinance that was passed says that we're supposed to go to. We went through that last meeting. Well, what's, what, what have we got ordinances for that we approve and everything else? What's, what's your ruling on that one? We got an ordinance. I, I don't think you're catching me too cold to give an This is not the first ordinance. Ordinance has been re uh, redone a couple of times and improved about three different times now. All right. I'll read it. I'm sure the same one you have. And I'll leave out the first part, but it has to do with the city, county, school districts, or other taxing districts after the effective date of this ordinance in order to create a special fund to pay the principal of and interest on loans, monies advanced, or advance to or indebtedness, including bonds proposed to be issued by the city of Wall Lake to finance projects in <coughs> such area. Well, let me. Well, I had back and forth emails, and Chris, I left you out of this, but this had to do with our auditors, our audit report, and the state auditor's office on commercial industrial tip. And the question was, we had spent money on the Fitzgerald infrastructure, and we paid that out of tip. And the state auditor's office said that money had not been uh, certified in debt. It was not certified debt. We did not specifically certify the debt for that infrastructure cost. So therefore, we shouldn't have paid it. So the discussion went back and forth that I said, well, you know, we did that March, April, May. We couldn't have certified it in December before that because we didn't know about it. And we didn't certify it at the end because we had spent the money. 
So, so the logic went this way. The same thing that we did on residential where we paid bond and interest and had not raised the funds. We took money out of electric and water and we did a, a, certi a certificate of indebtedness which then we turned around the next December and put on our TIF as certified debt which then we are paying now. So they're saying we could have paid it out of water, created a, created a certificate of indebtedness and then put it as certified debt and then collected it the next year and then paid it back to the fund. That would have been the proper way to do it. Um, that took a while to get to that point. But the, but the fact is, this ordinance says indebtedness. The fact is, in December, we certified the debt. We certified it all to the Wall Lake Commercial Industrial Corporation and any other payment would be improper. Period. And then I don't want anything to do with the Wall Lake Industrial Corporation. Oh, well, we know that, Ray. I, absolutely not, and, and I see because they're taking our money. They're taking what they're doing is taking the highest paying property taxes, and it, it's a vicious circle. They're taking it and they're giving the money back to them. And what's happened to the money? The, the residents have to pay up everything else. It's taking money out of the residents' pockets. One way, one way or another, it's taken out of. The city's coffers is taken out of the school's coffers and is taken out of the county's coffers. To do what with? You're taking the money out of, out of, the, out of the school, you're taking it out of the to city. To do what with, he asked you. With what? He's taking it out. Yeah, what you, to do with it? What well, do I, with? Whatever he so desires. Well, the city council has nothing to say about it. But what are they going to do with it? What do you believe they're going to do with it? I don't know what he's going to do with it. Did when did, when did we get a report? We finally got a report here That's right. the last time, Who's three he? years ago or four years ago or whatever. That's right, and now I believe that they're on track to do what we've asked them to do with the money. You and did. that is develop an area for us. Ray, we've got businesses okay. that want to locate here, and we're not letting them. Because we, we, have, no, we have no tool to do that. We, we, created we don't, we don't, we do don't that. have a well here that we need. And this money can't be spent on that. Okay, well. it maybe it can't be spent on that, but it can be spent on this electricity that we're that we're paying for and everything else that went out south of town. I I agree. Don't. I think that I think that if you get together with them instead yeah. of fighting them, you'll find that they're going to put some of that money back That's towards the electric nice. that went out there. Don't that have to be a certified debt, though? Don't you have to certify it in order for that money? To, well, if I understand you know, this correctly, Ray's in on the council, and Ray would love to do that. So why doesn't he? Why don't you certify it, Ray? I questioned you last year when you certified this going into on the November meeting. And uh, if I really want to push this hard, I think that uh, I get that thrown out because I see this was signed by our mayor uh, on that same date uh, when he was out in Arizona or wherever he was at. I was in Arizona. Well, when, when did you go last Thanksgiving? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, and and it's signed that that indebtedness is signed. I think something like that date when you was out there by you. Mm. So I guess I'd like to know what your plan is to develop places so that we can have businesses come here, Ray. Okay, I'm what saying. What is your plan? Okay, I'm not. I, I'm saying that we got to have infrastructure here first, and tip can be used to build infrastructure. And what infrastructure are you looking and, for and, right now? Uh, not just throw money out here to, to wherever the hell. We have a company. I mean, we, we have a company. We literally, we literally, I mean, not we, the STIP committee sent out letters to a couple different people. That they could never get, take some, ask for money. One didn't, and one did take money. I don't that was, in our, that was in our notes coming out here. We sent out letters you, you, to Vegas to, to, yes, beg, to you, take money? Who, yes, who was you, it? Send out, you sent out a letter to uh, who? Albright's, to Rod Ross, and you sent out a letter to Westside Bank, and Westside Bank refused to, to take anything. Can you produce that was, the that, letters? That was in the minutes. On, Can you on, produce the letters? Because I never saw either one of them. 
I did talk to Westside Bank, yes. I, I will admit I talked to them. I remember ever sending them a letter. They might have got applications. We do have a formal application policy. That you sent out a letter to them and had not heard back from them. That's what the, what the paperwork said that we received. I guess we don't have it in front of us. I haven't missed any of our meetings. I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> well, it's my belief that we've got a competent committee of people to take care of this tip money, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why I will vote yes for this. Because sure. What I need to, because I believe that these people are put in place to do some developing for us, and we're keeping their hands tied right now. And we need to. This money needs to be turned over to them, which it has been certified and will be turned over to them. This, this same people are also fighting us every time we want if we want to upgrade our well, which we need water in case we've got a problem. I agree. And, and our on our electrical end of it, we Why need to upgrade that. Us? I don't. I don't know where you're getting that. Well, they are fighting us on the well. Well, we need we need this done, and the same people are. are no, we can't get this engineer. We've got to get another engineer. We've got to spend another twenty-five thousand or whatever it is for. I think you have an issue with me, Ray. I don't think you have an issue with Tiff. I, In fact, I don't I, think I, you know who's on the damn corporation okay, board. Okay, I have a, a yes. I have got an issue with Tiff too because I think the money is not being spent the way it should be. I think Tiff should be set up. You tip a program, and and you decide uh, you designate what that money is going to be spent for. This council. What? The council it, designates it, it? No, when you set up the tip. Okay, this ordinance was set up and it was in the original ordinance and everything else. We set up the tip, the urban renewal plan. It was done that way. You have to have an urban renew, renewal plan first. And, <coughs> and did you have your hearings with the school and the county and the. Absolutely. On this last one? On tip number two? Yes. I wasn't on the council. Oh, oh, you wasn't. You was I wasn't there. on the council. When you change, when you change the tip, when you change the guidelines. I was not on the council when you, the second district. When, when was you changed the established. guidelines the last time on this, on right here on uh, November of two thousand nine. We changed the district property under the tip assessment. Yes. We did not change the urban renewal area. You, you changed the I was not on the council when they established urban renewal area for tip you changed you changed the area too because you took out parts Ray I can't tell you that we didn't because we didn't <laughs> well you did you took out parts so you get more we money took and them more out money. of the tip district tax that was a taxable district we did not take them out of the urban renewal area okay, you took them out and when you take them out of the TIF you, district, you're you, supposed to notify Do you understand TIF well enough to ask the right question? I understand it as well as anybody else in here probably, maybe except for you, and you get a hard time explaining to anybody. I mean, I'll be honest with you there, John, because... Okay. Because I, I have been, I have been doing some research on the TIF, yes. <coughs> And I think that it's your belief that it needs to be spent on bonds, bonds that we already have. It's my it's belief that it needs to be spent on, on bonds that we are going to create in the future in order to develop an area. If you're going to develop an area, you can set TIF there to develop that area and, we have and take the money for that area then and then put it back into that, into that area. And that's what we're looking to do. That's what you do with the residential area and that's what you're doing with Lake. But that's what we're doing now do. is we're taking all the money out of our, our highest price property taxes and everybody in town is paying more for it because of it. So you how did you, how did you calculate that everybody so else should was paying more? They have to. Should we just forget the well, whole thing and, and make sure we keep our low property taxes and not have a school no. and not have our development for businesses or what? Okay, I'm also looking at you're taking out of school. How long is the school up here going to stay open? Then? I agree. Well, I don't think it has to do with that. I think it has to, in that meantime, we have to have some businesses here that are going to create more tax money, and that's what this TIF district is going to do. It's going to allow us to develop a business that's going to pay us taxes. But where's the taxes? Okay, what taxes? On the property. 
that tip is taking them all back again all the time. Ray, I, I gotta ask the you a question. The tip keeps taking them back. On your house, on your house, you have a certain mill levy, right? You have a certain valuation and a certain mill levy. And the city's mill levy is 8.1 for everybody because it's at the max. So if you take your valuation, roll it back for residential, take a time your mill levy, how does TIF affect the dollars you paid on your house? Increase it, decrease it, same? It might, it might not affect my property tax, but it affects other monies that I have to pay in to keep the city running, to keep the school running, and to keep the county running. Because you're taking money out of the county. 22% of that money that you're taking out, that you get back in TIF, comes out of the county funds. The county charge has to charge more for tipping fees or whatever then to make to, and road tax and everything else. But we're creating new businesses, Ray. Yeah, I guess that I can't argue with yeah. you, Ray. You've got a point. But the, the reason for it is so that we can create a new business. I, I'm all for creating new business, Good. but I think we, what we have to do is fix up what we've got right now to start with, too. We can't bring business in. We couldn't even bring business in one or two. We don't, right, have we, don't have we don't have enough electricity, and we don't have enough electricity, and the water, or anything for it. Well, we can't apply that money to those items because it's not a certified debt. But we, if you check that area, you can something like that. See, it's just I a just difference know. in philosophy. You See, and, I, and, 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 uh, and then when John set this TIF program up, his, his uh, Wallach Industrial Corporation up. He told us that his exact words were that on the money being spent for TIF, if it's not all used, it has to go back to the county. So that's why he set this up so that anything that didn't get used could go into that particular organization. So he wouldn't uh, pay I don't 